All aboard! It's time to dance Story Train! Hello, everyone! Hello, Driver Dan! Which of our friends are we going to see? Which of our friends do you think it will be? Climb aboard and travel with me. All aboard the Story Train! Yeah. All aboard the Story Train! Twinkle, have you spotted someone? I can't see who it is. Can you? There's Tallulah. There's Loopy too. What's that all over the floor? It looks like paper. Pink paper. It looks like paper shapes. Let's go and see what Tallulah and Loopy are doing. Hi, Driver Dan. Sweetie said she would make us some ice lollies today, so we want to make her a special paper shape as a thank you present. But it's not easy. Look! Um... That part is supposed to be the wheels, and that part is supposed to be the roof. It's, um... We know! It's nothing like Sweetie's courage! Perhaps I could help. Thanks, Driver Dan, but there's a problem. There's only one piece of paper left. And there's another problem too. I only know how to make paper aeroplanes. If I was Sweetie, I'd love a paper aeroplane. Um, okay, yes, let's do that. Now fold down the middle, that's it. Then fold in the corners, yes. Oh, that looks really good already. Now bend that half over, then the other half. That's it. Now over and... Ta-da! I've made a paper aeroplane. It's brilliant, Tallulah. Thanks, Driver Dan. I think Sweetie's going to love it. Oh, see if it'll fly. Go on, go on. Right. I wonder what'll happen. Where will it go? <laughs> hmm. Well, I can feel a little breeze. Let's try it out. <gasps> oh, wow. Yes, it flies. Where will it land? It's going up. The breeze is lifting the paper plane into the air. That's like my loop, the loopy loop. Whoa, wee! <laughs> oh no, it's getting away. The breeze is blowing it away. It's going too fast. Oh dear, now it's lost. We can't give it to Sweetie. There's only one thing for it. We'll catch it on the story train. Hurry! Let's go. We've got a plane to catch. All aboard the story train. Twinkle is looking for it too, but can you see the plane? There it is. Now it's gone. No, look. I see it. That way. That way. It's going that way. We're losing it again. We've lost sight of the plane, but let's see if Sweetie saw where it went. Come on, let's find that plane. Hi, Sweetie. We're trying to catch an aeroplane. Have you seen it? I made it for you, to say thank you for the lollies, but the wind blew it away. You made me an aeroplane? It's a paper aeroplane, not a real one. <laughs> There it is! We tried catching it, but it's too high. Yeah, not even I can jump that high. <laughs> Perhaps you should have made a paper pilot to fly it, Tallulah. Twinkle, are you thinking what I'm thinking? <coughs> huh? huh? Go, Twinkle! Oh, look! Twinkle is flying the plane! She's being the pilot! <laughs> Come on, Twinkle, you can do it! Pilot Twinkle, hooray! Pilot Twinkle is coming into land! Oh, I've had an idea! That's it, Twinkle! Left a bit, right a bit! She's a brilliant pilot! Hooray! Brilliant! 
lovely landing, Twinkle. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> I think that's a yes. This is for you, sweetie. Thank you, Tallulah. Thank you, Twinkle. And these are for you. Oh, yes, please. Mmm, thank you. Thanks, sweetie. These will taste great on... Um, on my tongue. <laughs> on the story train. <laughs> story train, yeah! We're all hooked up, Twinkle. Are we ready to go? Mmm, nice lolly. Are you ready too? Then let's go! All aboard the story train! We're going to have a story. A flying story. That would be great. Yeah! Is everyone ready for a story after those lovely lollies? Mm. Yes. Aha! I know just the book. Is everybody settled down and ready to listen? We are. We are. We are. And all of you, sitting down comfy and ready to listen? Yes, Dan. This story is called Isa on the Beach. It was written by Roxana Khan and the pictures are by Lauren Tobia. Isa stood with all his friends on the beach looking out at the water that stretched as far as his eyes could see. He asked his friends if they thought there was anyone else on the other side. Maybe, they said. So he yelled, Hello! He thought he heard an answer, but his friends said it could have been just the sound of the waves. Or maybe it was a tiger! <laughs> I want to know what's out there, thought Isa. So, he stepped out into the water until it was nearly up to his middle. But his friends all shouted, Oh no, that's dangerous! Come back! So Isa went back to the beach and his friends. I want to know what's out there, he said. So he paced up and down and he thought. Then he had an idea. He found a piece of paper and whilst his friends watched, he drew a picture of his big happy face on it. Then he folded the paper very carefully and soon he had something that looked like a boat and when he put it very gently on the water it floated like a boat. Isa made a boat from paper like I made a plane from paper. Isa puffed out his cheeks and he blew and he blew. Then he flapped his arms and all his friends flapped their arms until the little boat he had made started to float away far, far away across the water. He waited and wondered all the rest of the day. His friends all said there was nothing on the other side and the little boat was lost. Just when he began to give up, he saw something bobbing on the water. It was very far away. He could not see what it was, but it looked white. Oh, what is it? Finally, it came close enough for him to see that it was a little boat. Was it his little boat? He could hardly wait. It floated closer and closer and finally bumped right up against his toes on the sand. It was his boat. Whilst all his friends watched excitedly, Isa opened up the paper. And there was the picture of his big happy face. Only now there was the shape of a heart drawn around it. Isa and all his friends stood on the beach and looked out across the water. And there, floating towards them, were hundreds of little white boats. The end. Did you enjoy that story? I loved how the paper boat floated away in the water and disappeared. Just like our paper aeroplane floated away in the air. Although we only got one back, Isa and his friends got hundreds. And now it's your turn. Which bit did you like best? Come on, it's time to show me the story. Who could be out there? Hello! Who's on the other side? I wonder... Who could be out there? Hello! 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 We're splashing in the water with Issa. Splash! Splash! Look there! There's loads and loads of boats. Hooray! 
Well done, everyone. That was a lot of fun. Issa's boat went on a big adventure all the way across the water, but it found a friend on the other side, didn't it? Maybe when I fly my paper aeroplane, it will meet a faraway friend too. Whee! Yeah! Yay! <laughs> Glad you enjoyed the story, everyone. But now it's time to go. All aboard! All aboard the story train! Bye, everyone. It's time to go. But let's come back soon because we all love stories. Bye, Tiger Dad. Bye. I like stories about birthdays. I like stories about boats. My favourites are monster stories. I like giggly stories. <laughs>